Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, Solutions Marketing with Logitech. Now, there's been a lot of excitement recently about our announcement of Google Meet on Android. And so in the video that we did there, we covered the basics of what an appliance-based setup is and how it looks in a Google Meet environment. So if you're looking to understand the basic differences right now between a Chrome OS-based or an appliance-based setup, we encourage you to check out that video. But for this video, with the recent release of the updated CTL Meet Compute Box, we thought we'd just do a follow-up video to talk through the setup of a Chrome OS-based Google Meet Room. So let's take a look. Okay, first, let's talk about the CTL Meet Compute Box itself. You can see here that we've got a real small and thin form factor. And the idea here is that the installer can simply hide this computer somewhere in the room, usually behind the television. Now, it's also important to call out a few of the mounting options that come right in the box. There are included screws for VESA mounting, and we also have a magnetic vertical mount that you can use if you want the box to be freestanding. Now, on the box itself, the back side here, you've got the standard power port for the AC adapter, and that power adapter, of course, comes included with the computer. But we've also got several USB-C, USB-A ports on the back for peripherals and meeting controllers, and we have two HDMI ports for the in-room displays. It has an auto update expiry date of June 2030. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we've also, of course, got the Ethernet port for internet connectivity. Now, the setup process here is relatively simple. First, we're going to plug in the AC cable here to give it power. We're then going to plug in this Ethernet cable to give internet to the computer. We're then going to plug in the USB-C to USB-A cable that's coming from our rally bar here. We're then going to make sure that the computer is connected into the display by plugging in this HDMI cable here. And finally, we're going to use the TAP Cat 5E MIDI controller. So in this particular case with TAP Cat 5E, I've got my Ethernet cable running into the USB-A dongle, and then we're going to plug the USB-A dongle into the main computer. Now that the cables are all plugged in, we're going to be guided through a number of simple steps to complete our provisioning process to Google. So you're going to see me do that on screen right now. Okay, that's really it for today. Now, again, it's worth noting that Logitech now offers two different types of deployments that can happen to create a Google Meet Room. One is what we just covered, a Chrome OS-based deployment. But we also encourage you to check out our video talking you through appliance-based setups. So for new Chrome OS-based deployments for Google Meet, we've got you covered with the new CTL Meet Compute Box. And also be sure to check out Google Meet on Android as well. We'll see you next time.